Where there's a pit, it's there's finished. a way. I'm a dumbass and had myself muted again. Big surprise. Alright, so we're back. No big deal. Um, hmm. I mean, it seems like she means well, but these things have been attacking me. They could be attacking anyone. They're actually undermining this uh, uh, usurp 
like usurping the throne. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Yura's monster, says the creatures you make. Azura's smile fades swiftly. Very well, if it's battle you long for, I'm happy to indulge you. Perhaps Lord Radrick will show me greater favor if I bring him your corpse as well. Hey, maybe. If you, uh, if you believe you can achieve. Alright. You just hold your ground, you hold your ground, you hold your ground. Um, I mean, we could go for a bottleneck here. I don't feel like I have too much to be concerned about, though, in all honesty. So. Yeah, let's just shoot the hell out of her. Also, Bear, get in there. You can get in there. You can hold back a little bit. <clears throat> We're going to rest very shortly, so let's go and expend our spells. Uh, we'll wait on the lance. Slicking could be good. Yeah, we could actually hit a lot of stuff with it. This is like really shitty damage for a level 3 spell. I mean, it's like a decent radius and fast cast time, good range, but I mean, honestly, that's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> I think we're just going to go for the lower DR. Um, we'll include her, and these guys will probably advance, so that should catch them. Um, Infestation of Maggots, that's pretty damn cool. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Returning Storm. Turning Storm into bear mode, into just go ham bony. My man Doku, why have you wait? I don't control you. Alright, so you decided to not cast Returning Storm and you just turned into a bear. What a dick. Alright, get out of bear form. <laughs> no way. Alright, get the hell in there, right? You, can you? Yeah, you can heal the bear from there. Sweet. Sweet. Alright. Get that returning storm, dog. Come on. Come on, son. Oh, brr. Holy shit. He's getting surprisingly fucked. Here we go. Uh, and we're stuck. Why the hell are we stuck? Can we not move with the storm? No, we're, we're stuck because of something else, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. Also, what the hell is whooping the shit out of you, man? <laughs> uh, let's see, Doku, my dude. Um, damn, dude. I guess she already went down and I didn't even like, catch it. Can't do anything. <laughs> ah, pardon me. Oh, yeah! Roger. I can't help it, dude. That's badass. How am I not gonna do that? Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and blast that nerd. I mean, he should be resistant to that kind of damage, but that's fine. Um. Yeah, just go attack stuff. You can do anything. Do not zap that cat. What a cool spell. Okay, her grimoire. Nope, 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 nope. Yes. Excuse me. There's something ahead. Hey. Oh. It's a clue, it's a clue. Okay, we don't need that.
Hey, kitty. At first you think this poor creature is diseased, for its black fur seems to have fallen off its hide in patches, but when the cat turns to investigate a fly on the wall, you note that an entire section of its ribcage is open to the air. Some of its tail is right away altogether to reveal a few jagged vertebrae. It doesn't seem to bother the cat much. It lets out a trailing purr and rubs against your shin. Oh, we'll pet the cat. It's been a few pleasant moments scratching the cat between the ears. Black fur comes away and coughs pick up the cat, you pick up the surprisingly light and unexpectedly pointy creature and it purrs contentedly in your arms. Alright, so we, we got another pet. That's good. Mr. Meow Meow. Go, go. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, let's put this shit away. Mm. Damn. That is hardcore, dude. <clears throat> Fine brigandy. For a guy who has a horned head, uh, he looks so proper now. Rolling flame like like this level two spell is like literally better than fireball. Fireball is so bad. Ugh, such a disappointment. Anyway, uh, what does she have in her grimoire? Crackling boot. Better. How much money do we have? Not a lot. Yeah. Hmm. Spells like that are always very risky, so I'm not too concerned about it. <coughs> I think I'll pick up stuck. What's our current level 2 spells look like, anyway? Actually, all four of these are pretty badass. I could always make a second grimoire, because you, know, you never know when you'll need to swap a whole bunch of spells mid battle. Same with this, actually. I might actually pick this up. Just because it's a pretty damn strong level 1 spell. I mean, if you get someone who's like, uh,. I don't know, one or two people leaking through the back line and they're already kind of hurt. You might be able to turn around, do, you know, do some damage to them, get them off your back line, live through that fight. Mm. Eldritch Aim. That would also kind of go to him, man. Like, he is definitely our best damage dealer, hands down. Like, even if it said otherwise in, um,. I'm just gonna give it to her. Uh, we're gonna put these away for now because I don't really plan on using traps anytime soon, anyway. Maybe eventually. Unity too confused. Nice, okay, cool. <clears throat> Should I be putting them in the stash? Eh, probably not. Not too worried about it right now. Okay. I'm gonna save. And venture forth. A blade in the dark. All right. So another method with which to go upstairs is that one though to the keep study. Um, let's go and see what we find past those doors. And then. If we can clear out whatever's past the doors, we'll see if we can go back to the guy and uh, get him out of here. If we want to, because we still know who he is. Quickly and quietly. I thought for sure that one key was the proper key. Alright. Um. What is it? Unfollow. Okay. Let's head back and have a little chat with this guy. How's this looking? If I press this, I can purchase it. Alright, oops. Nothing wrong with a western barbican. Hey, nerd. Uh, you're free. Make a run for it. First, I'll see if I can get info from him. Yes, he looks away. It seemed a good plan. We got in without incident and knew the way, but we were surprised in the dungeons of most of us. You'll have seen some of them. Fought them, their bodies at least, not their minds anymore, but their souls. 
The woman down here, Radric, uh, Radric's Anamancer, her name is Osiria. I've heard her speaking sometimes, talking about a cure. Lord Radric calls on her often, but she's not curing anyone. She's only turned men and women into monsters. He shudders. I watched her take the others. I was sure I'd be next. He gazes nervously past you at the open cell door. I don't think I can fight my way out. Osiria's dead. Jaco breathes in, sharply surprised, before sagging with relief. Good. She deserved far worse. Maybe with her gone, the people she's changed can pass on to next life. I hope so, anyway. Brave you'd take her on. There's animancers you never know what they're capable of. <clears throat> Alright, you're free. Make a run for it. Thank you, stranger. I have to get back to the fork, but first, uh, some food and rest, I think. He hesitates. If you would dare the upper floors, please tell Nedmar I live yet. Tell him. Tell him I still have the carving he gave me of the Pale Knight. I should convince him, and perhaps he can help you somehow. Good luck, and may the gods keep you safe. Okay? Cool. We saved the dude. Okay, so we save him. Let's try to head to the keep study. I think that would be better than going to some ramparts. <clears throat> but as we go up, stealth mode. Do 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 do. Sorry, scratch my nose. Totally just bumped my mic. It's finished. Okay, a lot of prayers against fear around these parts. Okay, reflex bonus. Uh, probably not something I'm really interested in. Plus two reflex. I doubt it'll stack, but yeah, it won't. Uh, I mean, I guess we can give it to someone. Sure. There's something ahead. Stalker's Link. Okay. Something for a ranger. Cool. Now what the hell does it do? How does it modify Stalker's Link? Do we even have Stalker's Link? I don't see anything, so I'm going to take it off for now, so I don't just leave it on. A lot of items to get lost on uh, people. Uh, and out of curiosity, that two reflex, yeah, low value. Get something, it's just not a lot. Blackened pages curl into fire. A leather cover embossed with a rising sun and three stars is barely visible through the flames. Dude, is this the main room? Oh my god, this might be like a big fight. Oh, oh shit. Let's check the rest of the room real quick. And like maybe over here. Uh. The bear presses forward. I wish to have a word with you. You stinky ape. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Hmm. Yes. Oh, man. Like, that's a lot of dudes. <gasps> Radrick, just talk to me, man, from, from over there. <laughs> Will you address the bear? Yes, let him approach. Ah, <laughs> uh, I've heard about you. Aww. You're quite the bear. <laughs> anyway, let him approach. Flanked by a host of guards, all of whom regard you with mute hostility. Lord Radric the Seventh observes you from his throne, clad in ornate plate. Ornate? Ornate? I like ornate. His eyes have a hollow quality, and there is a pallor to the man's gaunt face that leaves his features showing stark against his dark and unkempt hair. Oh, he yawns. There's a dagger discarded upon one stone arm of the throne. A thin crimson rivulet... Rivulet... Oh, God damn. Warms his way down from the blade and past Radric's fingers, even as he leans forward to regard you with a piercing gaze. It is unlike Kolsch to hire gaze. mercenaries. Or foreigners, for that matter. And you are not one of mine. So I cannot accuse you of treason. See, in case anyone was questioning it, Kolsch. See? You've come far closer than his people ever did. Much too close. Excuse me. A quiet infiltration, and done more skillfully than Kolsch could ever manage. I did not expect it. What has my cousin promised you? Some grand reward? If he had any resources to his name, he would not covet mine. And if he had any honor in him, he would not have tried this here, now when I have lost so much. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna have to go with... I wouldn't talk of honor if I were you. I saw the body upon your bed. Radric's face darkens with a sudden fury. You do not know what you speak of. The blasphemies that fell from her lips. The dead thing she brought into the world as a result. Goaded Vale's laws hold true for all within my lands. None can be exempt. Egrid received the just sentence. Whatever her title or her worth to me. Whatever the cost I bear, you, you speak in ignorance. Just as you have stumbled in ignorance upon my foolish cousin's plots without understanding what is at stake. Gilded Vale has suffered under your rule. It deserves a better leader. Radric makes a low huffing noise of disbelief. And you think Kolsch is that leader? What does he understand what it means to be a thane? He has gathered a meager assembly of illiterate farmers and scavengers to himself and sends these in suicidal action against my guards. You are a pawn in Kolsch's designs, and he has kept his motivations from you for a reason. I wonder if you understand what it is you do, or what you might accomplish if you were better informed. You have proven your competence in your way. And had I such an ally, we might together put an end to Gilded Vale's woes, lift the curse once and for all, and in doing so, return us to a life where such strict measures are not necessary. Hmm. I think I'm going to go 7 or 8 here. You really are mad if you think I'd work with you. So be it. May the twin god take pity upon your splintered soul and scatter it to the winds. So, all is pretty, uh, it's pretty well spoken. A okay, divine mark, and what? A pre oh, okay, that's the. Uh, it's gonna hurt. <clears throat> We're gonna hit him with a preemptive heal. Okay, we'll see what happens, but let's go and get to casting and shooting. Favored arch. Oh, archmages. Okay, so there's two of them. 
But I think that we need to knock out the favored first. I'm sure he's got most of the heals. Uh, we never rested. Damn. Damn. A uh, damn. However. Yeah, we get all the casters like that. So, hit him with some of that. And... Go nature's vigor. I think we'll go with the gun for now. Yeah, we'll take down the archer. And yeah, at least start in on him. Damn, bear went down fast. Alright, that's fine. It's about what we anticipated. Shame about the fog. Okay, he's almost dead. That's pretty damn good. Okay. We need to immediately try to confuse some nerds very quickly. Let's do the returning storm. And actually, I think we should probably hop Hey, because he's trying to go ham bony on his ass. Uh, let's get you. I'm thinking maybe over here. We'll just try to get you to do a whole lot of damage, at least before you go down, if you go down. not appear to be so. Uh, but according to that... Alright, maybe I need to look down there. I don't know. It didn't look engaged to me, but it is what it is. Um, it looks like we've got the storm. We still have all these level 2 spells here. Um, okay, definitely need to finish off. Oh, damn, dude, you made such fast work of that mage. Good job, Doku. Yeah. 
Toku, what a god. Actually, hold on. Skirt. Keep on skirting. Your death, nice. Okay, you should be able to take him one on one, I think. I hope. Okay, good job. Something I do want to look at real quick since there's just so many conditions. Sneak attack. Blinded, flanked, hobbled, paralyzed, petrified, prone, stuck, stunned, or weakened. Okay, so no frightened. No, I think terrified is one of them. Okay. Still kind of dangerous for him to go in and hang out. Uh, he's still stunned. Sudo, do you just fucking beast? 100%. Sudo, people, with this guy. <laughs> We're just tickling him. Tickle, 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 tickle. Did you already? Yeah, you jolted the hell out of that one guy, I think. Damn. Sudo and Doku, straight up gods. So much for you. Damn. What a fight. What a fight. Time to see and not be seen. Okay. So, now we have some plate armor for when he does need it. Yeah, we'll just keep it there as it is for now. Uh, as far as these guys go, I think we'll keep the plate just in case. I don't think they'll need it, but yeah, I better than selling it for 200 right now. Pretty good. These two will lower their will by an insane amount, and this is their reflex. Ok, 
Okay. Hold on to one of these grimoires. The tome. Alright, man, we have overthrown Radrick as far as I'm concerned. Oh! Looks like the town knows it. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we just got them naked just cause. You know? We heard that you had moved against the keep, and yet we have arrived too late. But a moment earlier, and I would have heard his dying breath. No matter. It is done. The tyrant is dead, and our village is free to move into a greater future. Gilded Vale owes you a great debt. I owe you a great debt. You have accomplished what I could not. Take what rewards you care to from Radric's vaults. You have earned them twice over. Kolsch looks over the throne room, smiling. There is much to do. We must send word to the Earl, of, Cur of course. Revoke the cruel laws Radric has instated. But do not think we will forget your assistance. You have brought about great change. Take pride. Everyone will remember this moment. Come, men, clear these bodies from the hall. With that, Kolsch strides eagerly towards the throne. That's a level up, probably, for... No, it isn't. Damn. Okay, get close, though. How about you, Phoenix? All right, you're getting there, too. Cool, cool. Quickly and quiet. Hey, we got some dough. One moment, stream. Alright, stream, we back. Alright. So, he tells us to go through his vaults. Damn, it didn't, like, you know, show. Uh, what does this lead to? Temple script Scriptorium? Uh, this would be thieving, allegedly, but you said I was welcome to take shit. Let's see what happens when I take shit. This could have and should have... What do you think you're doing? Are you kidding me? Like, dude, all this shit is supposed to be mine. That one to dungeon, this one up to the upper ramparts, I would believe. Allegedly stealing, but they said to help myself. Hey, get out of there. It seems like they don't mind. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't see the problem here. to the scriptorium. It sounds like we could find maybe uh, tomes and or spells or something there. And probably Redmar. Pretty damn sure that they said, hey, he's a priest. Fucking bald-headed nerd. I'll see it done. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Why do I have to pick this one? Finished. Keeping an eye out. Scrawled note. Ah, something in the chapel. Nedmar. Kosh has his victory has been a word of Jaku. Jaco is safe. He asked me to tell you that he's kept the carving you gave him as a boy. Nedmar's eyes widen. With sudden vigor, he rushes forward to grasp her arm. Oh, thank the gods. Thank you. I did not think you could... That is a fear. He shakes his head. I did not want him to meet the Pale Knight so soon. Oh, You're take the... Excuse me. God damn. I have little wealth to offer. Better to give something of use. Gods keep you, my friend, and our new Thane as well. Alright, cool, man. Hmm... We boogieing, we boogieing. Looking for more free shit. I don't want to look like that guy. Free badass Aroni. <laughs> you imagine just a party of people running around grabbing like all the fruit and veggies and shit that they possibly can. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Give me that shit. Like, damn, nigga, have you ever eaten? Shit. Open the goddamn door. What the fuck is wrong with you? There you go. He won't see me coming. Hmm. The disguise. You know, if I remember right, like these robes are actually really good. Because they're just minus 5%. And where the hell is it? Went to the stash. So yeah, they're minus 5% with a DR of 2. They don't look great on the dudes, but I might use them. More shit. Alright, um, to keep kitchen to the upper ramparts. I think that we're done here, so to the ramparts. Fine hide armor. 
And it went to the stash, then you son of a bitch. <laughs> What a man, what a man, what a man. Okay. Oh, oh. I don't know why it does it sometimes. It goes way the hell up here. Alright, how's our money situation looking now before we sell 4K? Cool, cool. To the courtyard. <clears throat> Gimme that. Gimme that. They mentioned his vaults, man. Like, are there are there actual vaults somewhere? <laughs> like, dude, oh, the vault. Like, maybe the basement. Do I have the proper key? Chat, do you know this? Dungeon lab, and just do dungeon itself. Or did I come up? No, I didn't come up through it. Hmm. Yeah. Do you actually do anything? Nah, I guess not. Yes. Maybe. Let's go to dungeon. I mean, there was still that one area where it said I needed a proper key, but it was like I, I got a couple keys. Oh, camping supplies. Uh, let's go and camp. Like, does the bear get it? I doubt it. Shit, and I don't know if we currently have... Mm, nah, because we didn't camp. Okay, so I wouldn't know. Uh, maybe movement would still be good. Uh, heal multiplier, racial, accuracy... Um, nah. We'll stick to an accuracy bonus. Go with Beast. Keep it thematic for her because I have no idea what I actually want. Give me that. Punk ass. Like, this should be it, right? You would think? Maybe maybe the vaults? Please, be the vaults, dude. I, I want whatever the hell is back there. Like, what the hell is back here? Please tell me this is it. Por favor. No, no. Oh, I got the key, dude. Come on. Fuck. Anything down here, man? Quick and quiet. What vaults? <laughs> Uh, what a shame. Alright.
captain of the guard. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the throne room just real quick. Just want to be thorough because we want shit. Yeah. Free shit's good shit, man. Mm. Yeah, we'll go here. This is like the most direct route. <clears throat> Gotta have that running music. I'll not apologize for it. So my vote is that there's no actual vault, so it's just wording. It's fine. <sighs> oh. Really just hoping there'd be a vault of fucking money and gems. That would've been a badass reward. So hey, go barrel picking, bitch. <laughs> Pardon me. Alright, so that's been taken care of. Um, so we've done everything here. Everything here. Pretty sure everything there now. Everything there. Um... I mean, we, we have to pass through here anyway, so let's go here, check out anything that we might have missed. Alright, so big section of the map this way. I think that will be fine, basically just auto-attacking everything. That recovery speed. <laughs> Dead adventure. Nice helmet. Well, it was a nice helmet. No, the helmet nice was nice. Appeal. Damn. I like discovering new areas. Really wanted there to be something up there. Zippity's at So badass, okay.
It's one of the zones I came through before and I found it a little lame. I forgot where it was, but this is it. Um, it's just, I mean, it's not like bad, I'm just not really into it. It's all the, uh, these, again. Puff the Swamp Dragon, like, eh. I'm glad that the backers got something, and yeah, besides an awesome game, though. Uh, we will take this fine crossbow, because we... actually, let's give, uh... Let's give them more bows instead. Um, as far as you're concerned, I'm pretty sure we had, yeah, this, a fine scepter. It's fine, a hide armor. Not cool, not bad. Okay. Uh, well, that appears to be everything here. So, completed, 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 completed. Mm, let's head here. Let's just keep sweeping through areas, man. Knock out all this wilderness before Defiance Bay. Probably head to Defiance Bay shortly, sell a ton of shit, and uh, buy some shit too. letter. This piece of parchment is torn and flecked with blood and troll spittle. What little of it remains reads, Worried he may have come to harm. Once I reach Defiance Bay, I will hire gu guides to take me back west in safety and see if we cannot find Fulvana. At present, I regret my eagerness to be away from Gilded Vale. It is very dark. Oh, Fulvana. Okay, so I must have already discovered someone's body over there. I was looking for Favana or going to or something. <clears throat> what up, bear? Pretty much. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, so you still pretty much always have to respect a bear because uh, it's a bear. My bear feels like such a little bitch compared to their bears. Let's hobble his bitch ass. I think that we should see about blinding them maybe. Actually, let's knock them prone first. I think about there should be appropriate. If not, well, we'll deal with it. That's right, we can also charm beasts. Don't think we're going to though. We're just gonna walk up first. He walked over there. Okay, hit him with the wind. Okay, cool. Nice, big XP for the bear. God damn! The Lemkin. Forest Spirits, level 6. A lot of slashing damage. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit like a like a nymph. I get uh dryad, dryad, more dryad. Dryad, dryad, dryad. Okay, cool. So that pretty much clears this area then. Sh 
shrine of Margarin. That's my durance. It's as good as I got. Okay. Mm, we've done everything that we can at the compass. Yeah, everything. So that's also clear. So everything appears clear. So we'll go to Modmer Bridge. And then after we clear out this area, we'll know that everything that we need to do is from Cadnua uh, onward. <clears throat> so that will feel pretty good for any completionists out there. Hello, Mr. Zar. No idea why you had Death Wish. I'm sure he's got a lot of deaths in his near future, too. Life of a melee. Hello, Mr. High Priest. Damn, I think I've been neglecting a level up. <laughs> Sorry, Shock. Oh no, she just leveled up. Go and camp here. Uh, let's level up first. Uh, so, survival. I know we wanted a lot of survival for, I guess, for the accuracy. Maybe bonus movement. Either way, let's keep saving. Stalker's Link, what the hell are you? Plus the inaccuracy when attacking the same target as Animal Companion. That's not very frequently, so I don't really want that. If I knew how the thing modified this ability, then maybe I would use it. We have a magic, uh, like, amulet, but... If I don't know how it works, I'm not going to use it. Um... Oh no, that's just for the bear. to the same AOE. No, dude. <laughs> um. Hmm. They're almost never together, so like that's not really any good. 
Swift aim. <sighs> Sherry sure has a mode though. Right, what's your, what's your mode? Hmm. Is less attack speed, less reload speed, more accuracy, more damage. I could almost see the other one being useful, but not in not in most not when I I would need it though. So it's like I have basically no reason to use this. Because if I can hit something really quickly, then it's not something that I'm concerned about using a mode on. So if anything, maybe marked prey. Uh, if not that, this could be good if they're both attacking the same thing. Uh, they... Alright, we'll go ahead with Stalker's Link. And we'll see how that amulet modifies it. I mean, maybe I'll, I'll make a decision to... Modify Stalker's Link, but you don't tell me how. How the fuck do you modify it? Will you tell me now? Per three seconds? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, what, was, what was the name of this thing? <laughs> what is the name of this item? Stalker's Torque. Alright, we're gonna Google this shit. This is like one of those items I feel like the devs forgot about, and they're like, oh yeah, like, you got plans for this. Uh, what the fuck does this do, and what does it actually mean? Alright, so something about plus 20% uh, Stalker's Link, that's, that's all we really know. Alright, that's fine. Anyway, let's go ahead and camp here. Forty mm. percent, holy shit, nice. Curse my luck, the woman mutters, with a rather deep voice, kicking her foot into the ground and upturning a clod of soil. As you approach, her ears twitch and she turns to greet you. Hail, traveler, she says with a half-hearted hand wave. The bridge to Defiance Bay is out. If that's where you're headed, you'll need to find another route. Damn, she can rhyme and everything. Mm. What are you doing here? I'd been attempting to turn a quick copper, but she bites her lip, her face turning flush with anger. Just my luck. The blast of currents threw my ferry into the rocks, dashed it, and my profits to pieces. Making matters worse, when I went to prowl this, uh, the shore to salvage whatever shipping crates didn't sink, a pair of looters attacked me. She stomps her foot into the ground. The damn brigands had nerve to attack. I managed to avoid harm, but, but now they've stolen my, by force all that is left of my fortune. She eyes you for a long second, her hand cupping her chin. You know, you look like you'd fare better against those looters than little old me. Could I enlist your help? I'll take a look. Peregrine smiles wide, her ears perking up. Thank you, I'm sure those thugs have made a mess of my stock, but maybe there's something there to be saved. Alright. Let's go whoop the shit out some looters, man. Remember, I'm not a looter, because I'm the main character. So, I'm like a good person when I steal everything. Okay. What a bitch. Hold on, I, I see you. Oh no. Come on, man. Oh <laughs> uh, no. 
Yeah, I bet you can do it though. Alright, no need for it. Go attack him. Go whoop that ass. <gasps> what is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, that's such a great bug. Oh, it stops. Oh. You know what? You'll be. Bring them. You cannot escape me. Bring I am death incarnate. Actually, he, he is. He's like literally death incarnate. It just felt like cool shit to say, and then it was like real shit. Also, uh, we were going to equip this hatchet. Because we don't need a fine mace. We like deflection. Hell yeah. Fine spear. Yes. Yes. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot all about this amulet. Oops. Mm, healing received, like... I feel like that could be super duper awesome for her. Yeah. So we lose a little fortitude and will, but we got so much of it, like that's fine. I think that we take a lot of our damage just from auto attacks and shit. So, plus healing received. What's up, bitches? Picking on little old ladies? Gathered around the soggy timbers of a ship wreckage, men and women pick through their driftwood, snatching muddy silverware, moldy clothes, chips, pottery, and anything they can spot among the detritus. What the fuck are these words? Stop making me look bad. I can do that on my own. All eyes turn to you as you approach. The group trade nervous... Okay. The group trade nervous stares at you until at last the woman in muddy clothes steps forward and speaks. Where are Brettel and Taryn, she asked. They were just up along that path, and we heard fighting. Her eyes narrow, and a hand moves toward a knife on her belt. She anticipates your reply. Um. Uh, <sighs> that wreckage is private property, and you are looting. She blinks in disbelief. Looting? But this is a wreck. What value does it have? The men and women all turn to her, their faces frightened and worried. Please, we need these supplies dearly. The storm took everything from us. It is not our desire to steal, but we are destitute. Should we let these wares just sink to the river bottom? Regardless of your need, you are still stealing from Peregrine. Perhaps you could tell the merchant you found nothing beyond bits of driftwood. From her point of view, it will be as if the river washed it all away. And besides, how much copper will she really make by selling these rotten clothes and soiled wares? I'll not lie to cover your thievery. I don't know if comrades all nodding in agreement. Then you leave us with no choice. We are going to throw ourselves at you and die very rapidly. Yes, ma'am. Dumbass. Eh. I want to hit him with the zippy zaps. This has got to be what like easy mode feels like. Mmm, Sviff. Ooh, a hat. Immunity confused and plus two intellect. Nice. I think I put it in my stash. I could have used that plus two intellect in real life. Fairy cargo. Now, I'm, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it real quick. I'm going to loot it and go try to give it to her. I just don't, I mean, it's technically stealing. You know, it tells you, but I'm returning it to her. Hopefully, she'll be fine and not like, but you didn't let me go get it down there. Peregrine bounces on her feet at your approach. My helpful stranger returns. Have you managed to find anything yet? Even if all you found is driftwood, just knowing those looters got what they deserved would moisten my breeches. Oh my god. Uh, show her the cargo. Would these happen to be your wares? Peregrine's ears twitch with excitement as you drop the supplies down in front of her. Thank you. I was beginning to think it all sunk into the bottom of the river. She reaches into her tunic pocket and hands something to you. Consider this considers this a small token of my gratitude. I will reward you properly when you visit me at my shop in Defiance Bay. Now where's your shop, dude? 
a shop. Like, that's, oh, I'm so interested in a shop, man. Uh, immunity confused, like, damn, dude. Uh... I mean, like, it's real bad when he gets confused. Plus two to intellect. I don't care about perception. Resolve is decent. Uh, what do you have? Plus one intellect? I'll right, we'll give it to you. Sorry that you're just really dumb looking, though. Sorry, man. Mm, so even then, your intellect is basically... Uh, fuck your intellect. I'm gonna swap. God, you look so dumb. But whatever, a little more perception. I'd rather you have perception than, than not. Anything here muted or whatever? Suppressed? Doesn't look like it. Intellect will be fine. I'll extend his rapid recovery and knockdown and whatever else. Uh, she'll get a little perception, so she'll land more blows. And the only thing that's going to go bad is like her hobbled shot will be slightly less, but who cares? But yeah, you look ridiculous. God, we need to get you like a real hunter's helmet or some shit. Um, this is allegedly stealing too. Alright, it's not worth stealing and pissing people off. Alright, they're a bunch of nerds. It's really cool though. Look at it. Come on, go back. I love... I see something. Oh. Alright. Nice. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> just saying, I love just... Even though it's like the isometric view and all, like this is just... Uh, love this shit. All right, so that's this area. Cool, we're out. We have officially completed everything to the northwest of Kadnua. And, you know, west. So it looks like there's something over there, but you can't get to it yet, I guess. Maybe not ever. I don't know. Uh, if I go back to Kadnua, I could start that entire uh, messenger thing, because I got, like, a messenger from the Ducal Palace. Uh, I could go to Wooden Plain, see if I missed anything there. Mm, actually, let's go here. So we can go pick up the uh, that little trinket, the bobble, that our boy Kana found on the road. Construction complete. Alright, next. The Bailey. Uh, we could do this other shit, but I want some prestige. Actually, I'm going to grab this next, because then I can hire a whole bunch of nerds. And I think that's like the fastest way to get prestige and security. I don't really know, because I'm just like a bad nerd. But, I mean, we can hope and dream. I think that we also might start exploring underneath this uh, place. I think that we could probably handle a couple levels. At least, I hope. <clears throat> okay. So we come in here. Yep, there's that dickhead. I don't want to talk to you, man. Oh, Hail the merchant! Well Greetings, my lord. Fancy a new blade? Maybe an axe? I've plenty here to take the fancy of any man of action. Or perhaps some ingredients and spices for the road. I don't know what the fuck this accent is. I have oils and tinctures for the ailing man, too. Want to have a look? Show me your wares. Um, I'm gonna sell like all this shit. Don't want it, don't need it. Again, maybe later, eventually, but as of right now, not at all. I need the money more than anything else. Um. Uh, I can't see needing that either, even though I like it. Oh, yeah, justice. 
Um, I mean, as much as I, I would like love to use this or whatever, I just have no reason to. I have really good shields, and this guy I don't want using two-handed weapons, so it's a shame. <laughs> what are you buying? Yeah, that was what, Resident Evil 4? Good to see Doku. Yo, dude, your character's been kicking dicks in. So fucking strong. Yep, RE4 merchant. Called it. Um, yeah, so, by the way, I did not mean to ignore your uh, message. I... My phone actually died. Like, as I was responding. And then I just got distracted. Because, well, you know me. Um, let's see. Oh, God. What, what, what's with the... Yes! <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, let's see, this is backup armor, that's backup armor. God, I, I'm gonna have to turn off the stream soon so I can do a ton of inventory management. Mm, I have all this shit to sell. Let's just sell it all. Get the hell out. See you later, alligator. Yep, all this shit. Get out of my inventory. Goodbye items. All right, six thousand, six thousand. Um, blah blah blah. I really should have looked at his stuff before I sold all my shit. Alright, so he has nothing special. Uh, let's see, then I go here because we have, hey, money and this item. Now, what do you do again? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah you go down when you're unconscious and you kind of heal your friends and shit. Um, a little bit of endurance and some burn damage. Not bad. Uh, but I think everyone already has... Yeah, everyone already has a necklace that they like. Right, what about you? Huh? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, dude, let's actually look at the stats real quick. Because I'm sure that your guy is number one damage. He has to be. Uh, most time in party. Enemy defeated. I'm amazed at how much they respect the Elder Wolf, man. Like, we fought some really strong shit. Uh, okay. Most total damage done. Dokukage, 15,000. Highest single target damage, 64. Dokukage. Most crits, Dokukage. <laughs> Most hits, arson. I think it's because all was AoE. Most damage taken, Phoenix. Most times knocked out, Dokukage at six. Um, damn. Yeah, so Dokukage has basically defeated as many enemies as our other three DPS put together. Total damage, 15k. Arson's at 10k. Not bad. I'm also hungry as hell. I think it's I think it's gonna be time for like a little break real soon. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna take a little break, Roni. I'm gonna catch up with with our homeboy Doku. Uh, and we might even play like some uh, Rainbow Six Siege or some uh, some other shit tonight. I guess we'll find out. But. That's the end of this Let's Play episode, and I will see you on the next one. I hope that you have an amazing day. Enjoy.